sleeping, still sleeping. Do something. Do something. Do something. Do something. Just do something. Something. Do something. Come on. Do you have a problem? I have two computers in my office, three printers in the department, and I can't print anything anywhere. It's 10 o'clock at night. I need my exam for first thing tomorrow morning. I don't know why I wait to the last minute, but I always get stuck. Did you put in a ticket with the help desk? Oh yeah, for the printing? I put in a ticket for the help desk. Three days ago, I put in an urgent ticket. <laughs> but you know, putting in tickets to the help desk, I always say it's like playing bingo. You hope your number gets called in the near future, but realistically speaking, don't bank on it. That's true. We both work at the help desk. And it's chaos. What are they doing with those tickets? I mean, don't they have some sort of priority, like faculty, faculty with urgent tickets, faculty with urgent tickets for four days, and now it's 10 o'clock at night? Ugh. Well, they have the priority system, but it just doesn't matter. They just put in the ticket in the system, and then it gets forgotten about. No, no, I totally believe that, because what I'm going to tell you would be more funny if it weren't true, but I can tell you how many times I've put in a ticket, and they have like some sort of program that will automatically send you an email six months later and it says yeah. your ticket has been closed. Yeah, your problem hasn't been solved. Exactly. <laughs> Frankly, six months later, you don't even remember what the problem is or you learn to live with it. Um, and that happens all the time to me. And I don't know what the students are doing because if the faculty get this bad of service, I can't imagine what's going on with the students. Uh, our friends usually just call us. Like, I get text messages and calls about, like, how to use software, like, problems with the computer itself, hardware, anything. So that's pretty generous you guys with your time to be helping out your fellow students. Yeah, we're thinking about actually uh, starting up maybe a company or something. If we're, if we're doing it for free for so long, we might as well get something out of it. So I like your way of thinking. A website, really? Well, is that going to be a little bit sketchy? I mean, because you guys work for the computer center if you're, like, getting people to pay you to do computer stuff. Yeah, we're trying to stay low and under the radar. Yeah, we have to be discreet about it. Kind of like an undercover website. <laughs> Only the right people know about it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, so, are you thinking, like, have it say that you fix computers, or you're not quite sure how big you're going to be? Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. It's kind of a dilemma. Well, you know, some professors would like to be on the uh, yeah. on the list that knows where that website is, because believe me, I'd be more than happy to pay when I'm desperate to get something fixed. But it's tough. You don't want, you know, the administrators finding out, so. Yeah, it could definitely be a problem. Hey, Johnny has a computer problem, and he has pizza. Ooh, you should go over there. You yeah. go some pizza. Wait, 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 wait. If I give you 20 bucks, will you look at my printer problem first? It's got a chunk pizza. 20 bucks has got a chunk pizza. Yeah, we can get two pizzas for 20 bucks. Okay. That sounds pretty good. My office door is open. It's the exam, so don't look when you're printing. But if you can <laughs> print it out somewhere, I will be indebted to you. All right, I'll do my best. I cannot tell you how big of a help this is going to be. Because I could wait forever, seriously, and it would just go on and on and on. Yeah, it's true. It's just, help desk isn't good. You know, I hate to say this, but Colin seems to text message a lot, or that's just my imagination. Yeah, all of his friends just send him text messages of their computer problems, and then he'll send him a text message back. Solution. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's not bad. It works pretty well. You know, it's embarrassing to say, but I have only ever sent one text message in my life. It was, happy birthday, Max. It took me, I'm not kidding you, about 10 or 15 minutes to send that text message. Yeah, you could have just called him in that amount of time. You know what? Maybe this year I'll give my phone to you and you guys can send in the message for me. It'll probably only take five seconds. Do you think that's mine?